Right, Matt, tell us first of all then, how did the band first get together? Well, the band first got together really when me and Rob started working together uh, in IT about five years ago. And we decided that we needed to start doing stuff because we could see we could both play music and we got together and pretty much just came from there really. Rob played the guitar, I started playing a little bit of guitar as well, but ended up back on drums because that's what I like to do the best. And we sort of um, went through a lot of different people, a lot of different songs we've written down, and um, this is what the fruition of that has become. Um, so when did um, Lewis get involved with the band then? Uh, I've been in and out all over the place. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mostly in, though. <laughs> <laughs> So when did you actually all sort of get together in sort of this latest um, incarnation of the band then? About two years ago, should we say? About yeah, two we, years ago. We, uh, well, I think Matt and I kind of got together and we wanted to put together like a, an acoustic um, sort of a, a set together. We wrote our own stuff uh, and because Lewis was a good friend of ours, we thought, you know, we'd get a little bit of uh, a bit of a, a decent spin on it with a bit more of a full sound. Um, uh, so we decided sort of after that that uh, the acoustic sound wasn't really where we were going because um, Matt's a bit of a monster drummer, he, he came along and, and uh, the band took shape from there really, didn't it? Yeah. Now of course the end of last year, Amber Battle of the Bands, you emerged victorious after several weeks and uh, it was a crazy few weeks in terms of the heats and everything. So what was that experience like then for you? Oh, it was smashing. <laughs> Definitely, you know, we, uh, we didn't expect to win, but um, we went in there, we did our best, and we came out and we won. We, we, we didn't expect to win on the night, but we got through each round, and each round we were happy. We won a crate of lager and a couple of, a couple of hundred quid every, every heat, and uh, you, can't, you, can't get any, you can't do worse than that, can you, really? <laughs> you know, it was good stuff. Um, we went down to the Battle of the Bands, the, the final, and we thought to ourselves, well, there's some very good bands here and we didn't think that we would win being a three-piece band up against hard rock bands that are made up of four or five people. And um, we just got up and we did, our, we did our stuff and it just felt right as soon as we got on the stage, pretty much, really. We'd had a couple of sherbets beforehand <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Rob then about the songwriting process because um, you mentioned yourself and Matt over the years have written a few numbers but obviously now you've got this uh, set together um, and you know the audience are now really familiar with those songs they know the words singing along this sort of thing so tell us about the, the latest songs that you've written um, I think well because Matt, Matt and I have been sort of really quite close friends for, uh, for a good few years now both quite opinionated people and usually what happens is we'll, we'll have a sit down and we'll have a few few sherbets and usually the best stuff that we write comes from <clears throat> just a just a conversation that we sort of sit together having maybe a rant even and we just uh, we just kind of let it flow and um, Rob comes up with good ideas and then sometimes I'll be a bit philosophize on top of that and that's how it sort of yeah, gets I might romanticize on top of something philosophical he comes up with yeah. and, and we, but we just the most important thing I think we do is we write everything down that we uh, right. you know that we sit and talk about and yeah. um, I do a lot of you know the, the, the songwriting process is, is really built around the lyrics but I sit and, on my own and I'll come up with melodies and, and that sort of thing and we, we just we just marry up the the best lyrics with the with the best, uh, the best tunes, tunes and, that we've got and we just sit down and just come up with ideas sit with guitars and I don't know um, the Grambo phone, which you haven't, we haven't got here yeah, at the moment. Yeah. What's the Grambo phone then? Grambo phone is a guitar case with a tambourine cellar tape to it. Right. <laughs> and if and I am the finest Grambonophonist in the land. <laughs> <laughs> and so how does this work? You use it as a percussion instrument? Well, we use it as a percussion instrument. Sometimes we'll sit down with guitars and come up with ideas. That's how we first started off doing and it will just be a case of We'll be playing away and we'll go, yes, that's good, we like that, do it again. And we'll keep doing it again and then that'll then grow 
and then another idea might come from Rob or even from Lewis and it'll just come together as the tune of the song and then generally what will happen if we haven't written anything down is Rob will go away then and come up with some ideas for some lyrics and then bring it back to us and we'll then work on that and develop it. I think the idea of the Grambophone has always been if, um, if we're playing an acoustic set or um, we're playing somewhere where we can't fit the drums we'll get the Grambo phone together and although Mr. Feeney feels a little it's bit a embarrassed act, more than anything. <laughs> in doing so um, um, it, it really does kind of work and we get a good sound it also makes us kind of look a little yeah. bit a little bit different different to everyone else certainly different yeah. <laughs> daft <laughs> special, special let's say special <laughs> well, you've got um, a CD launch coming up which is February the 6th so t tell us a bit about the CD then, What can you tell us what the name of the CD is and, and a bit about the launch? The CD is called The Music Makers, or I think it's just Music Makers, Music Makers. Music Makers. The launch is going to be the 6th of February in HMV in Douglas. Uh, we're going to play an hour set inside the shopping centre about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I believe. So it could be 2 o'clock, but I think it's 3 o'clock. Um, and we're going to put a good couple of hundred CDs in the shop for, to start off with and if they sell then we'll all make another couple of hundred and we can keep them in there for a good month or so we've been told. So, um <laughs> Obviously got the CD launch coming up, but uh, what's what's the band's plans for the rest of the year then? Well, um, we're going to get some gigs together, definitely, running up until the, until um, summer. Hopefully, we might get on a few, some of the some of the, the the good gigs that are around over TT week and stuff like that. And throughout the summer, we've been we've been asked to do certain things. We can't really tell you what those are because we haven't hasn't been confirmed yet, but. There is a fair few things coming this way. Um, we're going to mainly get to mainly get gigging and hopefully finish off or add another five or six songs to this EP that we're doing. Probably reduce, release an album towards the end of the year. Hopefully, that's made, yeah. uh, you know a bit of a spontaneous plan of some sort. But uh, because it's things have snowballed so much since, yeah. since well in the last eight months, we've got well I've, I've been writing you know. I suppose we've got another ten or twelve tunes yeah, that are in yeah. that are in the, on the back burner that we just haven't had the, time, had the time to to finish. And they're great songs. And I think there's a lot more to you know to 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 Grambo than just the sort of simple songs that we've got uh, that we've been singing at the moment. There's you know a ton more songs that we just haven't been able to actually finish because things are just we can't busy. we can't seem to get to any time to do anything like that because we're always asked for gigs and this and do this and do that and do the other and it's like. We're not complaining really, but uh, <laughs> like like Rob says, it's snowballed and just hasn't stopped. So it is a little slight hiatus after the battle of the bands to get this uh, EP together, and it has actually been quite well, really, in, in a certain way. But uh, we want to get back on the horse, and we're going to get back on the horse pretty soon.